Why is the Eastern Caribbean known as the graveyard for tropical storms? There are several factors that contribute to this notorious reputation. I'm Fox Weather meteorologist Haley Meyer. First up, and probably one of the more impactful ones, is the wind flow. We have a lot of divergence, so this persistent wind pattern creates a level of divergence that disrupts the storm formation and does not allow these storms to bubble up. Next, the Saharan air layer, where African dust travels far out towards the west, bringing air with 50% less moisture than usual, hindering storm development. Then comes the infamous El Nino influence. During El Nino year, stronger westerly winds further challenge storm formation. Another factor is the high terrain. The Caribbean boasts over 20 mountains with peaks above 3,000 feet. That tears cyclones apart. Higher elevations also mean cooler, drier air, reducing cloud coverage and moisture. And finally, minimal spin. Proximity to the equator means less Coriolis effect, limiting the storm rotation. Invest 94L is the latest storm to struggle here, following in the footsteps of Tropical Storm Gonzalo back in 2020, Tropical Storm Kirk, and Hurricane Isaac, both in 2018. As we approach the peak of hurricane season, long-range forecasts and climatology suggest that August could be a tipping point for increased activity. So be sure to continue to stay safe, prepared, and informed.